so hi everyone recently microsoft has released 54 model which is a new version in the fire series so it is one of the best small sized llms and not just that 54 is now supporting multi model inputs that means it can now intake audio video text images everything as input so that's the best part in this tutorial i will be running through how you can run how you can run 5.4 multi-model instruct in your local system so let's get started for that you would require ample amount of gpu because the model is 14b hence it would require some gpu on your end so before we move ahead you first need to pip install these libraries the latest version of transformers flash attention torch torch has to be greater than 2.4 accelerate sound file pillow sci-fi Torch Vision, Back Off and Pef. These are the required libraries. You need to import them. This is the model path on Hugging Face. As the model is open source, we would be loading the model from Hugging Face very easily. As you can see, we would be using the Transformers library. So here's the first code to load the model auto processor and mo auto model from causal LM. I think this is the basic structure that you have uh, seen if you have loaded any models from Hugging Face. Device map is CUDA because as the model is big, you need to use GPU. Uh, without GPU, it would be very difficult to use. And the attention implementation is flash attention too. Do remember this. Then we are loading the general config from pre-train. That is, we are providing the model path from hugging face. This is very, very similar to other models also. This is the interesting part where we define the prompt structure. User prompt, assistant prompt, and prompt suffix. That is end. I will be showing the entire prompt once. So first step that we are showing is an image processing part where we are using this particular image. This is the image that we are inputting. This is taken from directly from the example only. So the prompt is what is shown in the image. As you can see, user prompt is going on what is shown in the image, prompt suffix and assistant prompt. And then the final output comes out. So user prompt is user image one, what is shown in the image, prompt suffix is end and then assistant. In this way, we would be using the model to complete and hence the model would be outputting the output for the image. I'd be showing you that. So before we move into feeding the prompt to the model, you need to open the image, image.open and processor. Processor function has been called, which is the auto processor from pre-trained as you can see here. Now, as you can see, we are generating the response model.generate input stars. This is the text and image that is going so both are combined together using auto processor hence the your prompt alongside the image would be going and then generation generation happens in terms of ids hence these ids are then batch decoded here and then you get a response similarly for audio also there is an audio script that we have taken from wikipedia i'm not jumping into making you listen but this is a dot flag file as you can see and the prompt looks something like this transcribe the audio to text and then translate the audio to french Use separator between the original transcript and translation. Then we are using sound file to read the audio file. So uh, in case of image, we were using image.open. Now we are using sound file function. Very similar, we are again calling the auto processor with the prompt alongside the audio sample. With the audio, we are feeding in a sample rate as well, generating the output as IDs and then batch decoding. Now this is the installation happening. I'll be just showing you the output from the model before we as you can see the model gets downloaded here the model is a little huge hence you would require ample space in your system and in your memory as well as you can see it is around like 11 to 12 gbs there's an the image processing part the response is a stop sign in front of the building which is correct and in case of the audio it is able to transcribe it and then it is also giving a french translation as you remember in the prompt from separator so this is how 5.4 multi-model can be used. You would require enough GPU. It won't work on a 4 GB GPU system. I'm using 4090 NVIDIA RTX. Uh, so I hope that you are able to use 5.4 multi-model. The performance looks great. The metrics are good. And this is the one of the most powerful small sized LLMs out there. So do try it out. Thank you so much.